this morning, multiple lawsuits against Travis Scott, Live Nation, and even rap superstar Drake filed after the Astroworld Music Festival in Houston turned deadly. I reported that people were getting stepped on. <laughs> Officials launching a criminal investigation into the chaotic concert that left at least eight people dead and many others hurt. <laughs> 50,000 fans gathering to see rapper Travis Scott, a Houston native and Astroworld founder, perform. As he took to the stage around 9.15 p.m., the crowd, as seen in this Apple Music live stream, pushing their way forward, forcing people into the barricades. Our barricade even started to break, yeah, and the security to had to come over to us and like start strapping the rails. People unable to move, some collapsing to the ground. 19-year-old Quentin Savage was trampled on while trying to pull his brother out of a human body pile. I was telling people, like, there are dead bodies over there, and nobody believed me. Crowd chanting, stop the show. Scott still performing throughout the chaos. At one point, Scott even seemingly acknowledging an ambulance on the scene. It's an ambulance in the car. Whoa, whoa. He noticed some people were, like, passed out. But as he resumed, fans are hurt pleading for help. This woman climbing the stage platform, pleading with the camera crew to stop the show and help. A security guard lost consciousness after being pricked in the neck by a substance requiring Narcan to be revived. By 9.38 p.m., police declaring the scene a mass casualty incident. Shortly after, Scott pausing his song Skeletons to acknowledge someone in distress. We need somebody to help him. Somebody passed out right here. But police and medics seem tending to fans even as the show carries on for nearly 40 more minutes. Amidst the chaos, Drake joined Scott on stage. He posted these images from the night on his Instagram. I'm honestly just devastated. and I could never imagine anything like this just happening. The 30-year-old Scott addressing the tragedy to his 43 million fans on Instagram. My fans really mean the world to me, and I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. Kylie Jenner, who he shares daughter Stormy with, commenting, quote, I want to make it clear we weren't aware of any fatalities until the news came out after the show and in no world would have continued filming or performing. We will always celebrate you. You're in heaven, mijo. Memorials honoring the victims with flowers and grieving notes. He was talking to everyone how excited he was to be there and to go, and he was saving up money to go with his best friend Jacob, who also passed away. The youngest victim, just 14 years old. The oldest, 27-year-old Danish Bag, who died trying to save his fiance. And 23-year-old Arturo Sanchez was also in that crush of people, suffering a heart attack during the melee. A nurse who didn't want to be identified saved his life. Oh, my God, I'm so happy. We were there as the one strangers reunited for the first time since the tragedy. I wake up and I'm thinking about you. I fell asleep and I'm thinking about you. How many people did you try to help? I helped three others. But it's, it's kind of a, like a prioritization thing. You have to move on to the ones who can survive. And this is it. These are the people who survive. The Houston mayor is vowing a thorough investigation into what happened at this event. A concert goer who suffered broken ribs and multiple broken bones filed a million dollar lawsuit Sunday against Travis Scott, Live Nation, and show organizers, referencing chaos at other Travis Scott concerts. It's happened before. History has repeated itself. And we hope that by filing this lawsuit and the many other lawsuits that are guaranteed to follow, that Travis Scott and other artists like him understand concert goers want to be safe. We heard from so many people who were at the concert and they described the crush of people and literally fighting for their lives to get out of that crowd. They said that this simply should not have happened. Marcus Moore, ABC News, Houston.